Hey everybody, it's Julie, Kansas City girl in a Colorado world, and this is flash tube number 35, and this is a special birthday edition. Today is my birthday, January 29th, Tuesday. I uh, went to work this morning for a half day, and that's normal for me. I do half days on Tuesday. Um, I could have taken the whole day off, but I thought, you know, a half day would, would still be nice. So, um, anyway... So far, not much going on today. Um, here's Lincoln. Hi. Um, but yeah, it's my birthday, and um, it just so also happens to be free time to film a floss tube. So here we go. So let's see what's new. I feel like it's been a while since I've chatted with you guys. Um, I signed up for a class um, with Nikki's Creations that's going to be held locally and um, it's going to be held in Erie, Colorado, which is maybe like f five miles away from where I live. It's really close. Um, suburb of Boulder and um, the one of the one of the needlework, I don't know if it's like the guild or what, but anyway, um, somebody set this up. So I am going to a Nikki's Creations class. I'm super excited. I actually really like that designer a lot. Um, I love her fabric and um, I jumped on the opportunity to go to this retreat. So it's on February 23rd. I can't wait. I've never done anything like that. Well, I've never even been to a retreat. But I definitely have never been to a retreat where like a designer is is there. And it's not a full on retreat. It's just like a, a half a day class. But still, I'm super excited. Uh, a few other ladies are going to join me. Uh, Betsy, Bird Stitcher Colorado, and um, Christine uh, Calico. Uh, sorry, Christine, I can't remember your YouTube if it's Calico Stitcher or Calico Stitcher. It's something with calico. I feel bad now. I should have looked that up. Um, anyway, they're going. They're going to um, to the class too. So I'm super excited. Um, and I can't wait to show you guys what our project is. And um, just get that chance to do something cool like that. And um, I also, speaking of like meeting up with local stitchers, I went to the Stitch Inn on Sunday, this past Sunday, at... Our Denver um, cross stitch store it's called a stitching shop and uh, the last Sunday of every month they do a stitch in but I haven't been I think I went in like August or September and I haven't been since because football it must have been August I think I went the end of August and then every last Sunday like cheats were on I had, or I had stuff I had to do so anyway football's over Let's talk about that real quick. You know what? I don't even want to talk about it. I really don't. Um, thank you all for your sincere wishes for a Chiefs victory against the Patriots. It didn't happen. The Patriots are in the Super Bowl yet again. Like, really? Really, guys? Really? I don't want to talk about it anymore. Um, so anyway, I got to go to the Stitch Inn because... There was no football that I needed to watch <laughs> and it was super fun and I'm really excited to actually be able to hopefully start showing up a little bit more um, to hang out with my local stitchy people. So that's, uh, that was really fun um, and I think that's all I really have to tell you guys. Um, I have so many whips to show you because uh, this Facebook group, the School of Magical Stitches and Literature. It's a Harry Potter themed um, Facebook stitching group. And it, it's like blown up, like already a bunch of people joined and it was a big thing. But now like more and more people are joining every day. It's become like pretty big and pretty cool. Um, you can still join in like you can jump in anytime, even if you're, you know, late to the game. But anyway, School of Magical Stitches and Literature, it's hosted by Kate, Kate's Crafting Corner, and Vicky, Reading and Stitching, on Flask Tube. Both of them have Flask Tubes. And um, they're doing such a good job. Like, they're, they're coming up with 
weekly challenges, monthly challenges, year-long challenges, and the challenges are all um, either cross-stitch related or reading related. And so it's it's just so fun. I, I already read a ton, but it's like, it's fun to kind of, it kind of pushes you a little bit, maybe to read something you wouldn't have because it fits the challenge. And same with stitching, it really like pushes you to work on projects that maybe have been on the back burner. And so I have a ton of whips because I was trying to uh, meet the the challenges for, for the month or for the week. And, um, I didn't meet all of the challenges, but even so, I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten whips. Or ten projects I worked on. Um, they're not all whips because I finished a few of them. I have some finishes. That is so exciting. So anyway, go, if you are a Harry Potter lover, a book lover, a cross-stitch lover, go join the group. It's called School of Magical Stitches and Literature. Just look it up on Facebook groups. Um, let's, let me just show you my little bit of haul, which is not, uh, well, okay, here's the thing. Like, I'm not buying stuff. I've told you guys this, but I'm still in the color and cotton monthly club. So this was January's shipment. I am not like going through all of these. I'm just going to show them real quick, but they're really super duper pretty. So I will continue, I'm, even when I'm not buying stuff, I'll continue to get this monthly shipment because I actually do need to build up my flosses. And um, these colors are really pretty, really pretty. But that's like $15 a month or something like that. So that's like my one like expenditure. And then this was the last club kit from Country Samplers. Uh, I think it was... I think it was called like Farmhouse Club or I can't remember what the club was called, but this is the last one. It's Plum Street, A Country Winter. It's super duper cute. Um, and so that that's the end of that club. So I didn't sign up for the new one. Trying to be good. So that should have been all my haul. That should have been all I had. But, um... When I went to a stitching shop on Sunday for the stitch in, I I did need I needed like two Krynics for Snow Queen. That's all I needed. And I was like, you know, maybe I'll just treat myself to a pattern, just like one pattern. And I already knew which one I wanted to get. And I did. And it's Plum Street, Mrs. Bingley's Library. Okay, cool. That's, that, that should have been the end of it. But then I, you know, I was like, well, it is my birthday on Tuesday. Like, maybe I should treat myself to a little something. It's my birthday. And um, I've had this pattern in my wish list. I've almost bought it like eight times. I just kept waiting for her to have a sale. And finally, I was like, I'm just buying the dang thing. It's primitive hair, the old winter. I really thought she would have a sale around Black Friday or Christmas and I was going to snag this, but she didn't. And this way I get to support my LNS. But really what, what really made me pop on this is that she has the special fabric. Uh, my LNS had the special fabric, which I wasn't going to order, although I really wanted it. I wasn't going to order it, but since she had it, that was my treat. So this fabric is printed with these snowflakes and it just looks so good. So, and it, and it calls for DMC. I didn't even have to buy fancy plus. So that was my, okay. So I guess it's still not that bad. So this was my no buy fail, two patterns and a fabric. Okay. Not the end of the world. And now I'll be good. I'll be good from now on. Okay, so let me show you my finishes. I have three, which is really exciting. But they're little, they're little projects, so. Okay, so first of all, I finished my Stiatch, and none of these have been fully finished yet. I have not framed any of these. Um, I'm so happy with how my Stiatch, Lincoln, how many times are you gonna walk in front of me, dude? Um, I'm so happy with how my Stiatch turned out. I told you guys last time I was going to do like a Millennium Falcon 
And then I was like, wait a minute, no, I need to do Queen. Like, I did Queen last year, you know, last year's Stiatch. I, I need to do something with Queen. Um, so I charted something, and I was like, this could be awesome, or it could be bad. Like, it, I didn't know. It, I mean, it could be like a blob and look like crap, but it turned out so awesome. It's super awesome. I'm so happy. The crowd went wild <laughs> when I posted this on the Stiatch Facebook group. Ooh, I, I might want this as my screen grab with Lincoln walking in front of me yet again. <laughs> um, everybody freaked out. So it says, home is where the queen is. It's Freddie Mercury from the Bohemian Rhapsody album cover. Um, I would have loved to fit all four of them on, but that wasn't going to happen. So the album cover, if you, if you, you would recognize it probably if you saw it, um, if you don't know it already, it's all four band members, um, in like a diamond, right? So Freddie's down here and then it's like, actually, I don't remember the order, but you know, Roger, John and Brian or whatever, but they weren't all going to fit. So I picked Freddie obviously. Um, and then I pixelated the image and just kind of used some colors from my DMC variations and hoped for the best and wow, it worked. It Again, it could have not worked. This could have just been some blobby stuff and not look that cool, but I think it worked. I, I'm gonna frame this soon, so I'll show you hopefully next time the actual frame. So that was awesome. And then I was like, okay, one finish for the year, yay. Um, you know, I have my rule. I need two finishes before I can start a new project. And I'm starting a sale today, actually, and I'll show you in a second. Um, so I was like, I need another finish so I, you know, so I can start my sale. So I grabbed some, I, I grabbed a small project. Um, this is a, a kit by Cherished Stitches, How Doth the Busy Bee. And I finished this. And the kit com contains everything I need to actually finish it. So I'm going to hopefully do that soon. And um, this is the first time this has happened to me. My dye bled. I mean, my floss bled when I steamed it. I steamed it. It bled, uh, it bled right here too. I don't know if that's, like, if you guys can see that. You probably can. It bled. So that brown, which was a week's, it was not color fast. I've never had that happen. Lesson learned to me. I guess I can't steam iron everything. Um, luckily, this is a little, is, I'm going to make it into a little pillow. I'm not, I'm not, ups, I don't care. Like, I really don't care. It bled a little bit. That's, I don't care. It's fine. Now, if it had been a huge, like, sampler or something, I, I would not be okay. But I'm okay with this. I'll live. Um, and then um, I went, I got back to whips. I had my two finishes. I was good for my start. It's all good. And then I was, like, kind of wanting another finish um, because I really want to start. There's a couple projects I really, really, really want to start, but I need finishes before I can start them. So um, I grabbed... I just grabbed a tiny project that I knew I could finish quickly. This is Abby Rose, My Soul is Fed. And I stitched it on 30, I think it's 30, I don't know what it is. It's R&R, &R, I think it's, I think it's R&R &R Winter's Brew, but I think it's 32 or 36 count. I stitched it with the called for colors, except for I messed up. Um, I was just stitching along. I did not notice that these flowers are two different colors. The two in the middle are red and the two on the ends are pink. I didn't quite catch that on the chart, so I just stitched them all in pink. But I actually like it better that way, I think. So I didn't even use the red. I'm not going to finish this as this thread keep. I think I'm just going to finish it as a little pillow. Okay, so three finishes. Hopefully next time I'll show you guys like those fully finished, I hope. 
All right, so I kind of mentioned this salve. So the reason I needed to get some finishes is so I can start this salve with Sarah. Sarah Elliott, Stitchology. We're starting it today. I just picked today because it's my birthday. It's a pattern by Samwise Simple Stitch on Etsy. There's the shop name. And the pattern is called, ugh. It's right there. Right there. Ugh. <laughs> and it's Scarlett O'Hara. And we're calling this the RBF Sal. That's Resting Biatch Face. Um, if you don't know what that is, look it up. Resting Bitch Face. Uh, basically it's when you're just sitting there maybe thinking about nothing, but you look real angry. Like some of us are cursed with this where you could just be sitting like just thinking what you want from the grocery store and you're just like, and people come by like, what are you all like pissy about? Like, what's your problem? And you're like, what? No, no, I'm not in a, no, I'm in a good mood. Like what? No. Um, that's just my face. So Anyway, this, if you want to join us, go grab the pattern on Etsy. It's like five bucks or something. It's not much at all. And, um, jump in. One thing I want to let you guys know, um, I was pulling thread for this last night. It only, it calls for 20 DMC, um, colors, which is not bad, but one of the colors it calls for is 3895, which I could not find at the store. I guess it's it's one of the new colors, but new being like it came out in like 2013. But you could only get it in um, like a pack of 20, or like you know your your L and S could probably get it, but like Michaels doesn't have it or whatever. So um, just to let you guys know, I looked it up. It's you can substitute 646 for that color. It's just like a like a grayish color. I'm guessing. Just looking at this picture, I'm guessing it's like the, one of the colors in here. Like just, a, it's called beaver gray or something. So just pro tip, if anyone's like, I can't find 3895 anywhere and you're wanting to stitch this, 646 will, will work. Join us. We'd love to have you. It's a pretty big project. It doesn't look big, but it's like 110 by like 200 and it's full coverage. So, I mean, it's a good size, but... Um, it's DMC. It'll stitch up fast. Don't worry. Okay. Let me, let me show you guys my whips. This is the exciting bit. Um, so first, uh, my first whip is Dimensions Stocking Santa's Flight. This is my stocking Sunday that I'm doing. I have, I gotta be honest. I've been so bad at this. You guys, the last two Sundays, I didn't work on it. I've only worked on it like twice. Okay. Here's, here's the thing. I realized why I didn't want to work on it. The Ada is so stiff that first of all, it like chafes my skin, like rubbing against it. And second, it was literally just like killing my ring finger, pushing the needle through and because the fabric, it, it's so stiff and tight that it fights, it fights me. Um, so I went and got, actually while I was at my LNS, I got some of these thimble thumb pads or not thumb pads, but finger pads. So I'm going to try putting that on my middle finger that was getting really sore and see if that helps. Um, so I can get back to this because I just, I haven't wanted to work on it. So that's all I got. Um, but I'm going to try to get back to it and be better and actually do Sunday stocking Sundays. And I do see some of you have been much better than I at your stocking Sundays. <laughs> So kudos to you. Hopefully I'll get better. All right. So then I worked on the works of Jane Austen Sal. This is um, the first block. She actually just surprise dropped um, the next block. The next block is Pride and Prejudice. She was supposed to come out with it on February 1st, but I think it was Sunday or Monday uh, was the anniversary of Pride and Prejudice being released. So she dropped it a few days early in celebration. And I can show you kind of like a tiny, oh no, here's a better picture. So here's what that block looks like. Um, so cute. I love this Sal. So I need to finish Sense and Sensibility so I can get to the Pride and Prejudice block. 
I'm stitching this on a Exjude Designs fabric of the month. I think it was like the October fabric of the month, so I don't know that you could ever get it again. It's called Dark Mountain. And um, I'm, I've got a lot still to do. I've started the cottage, but I do, I do have the border and the title done. It took a lot longer than you would think it would. So I actually really want to get back to that. I've just had other things I have to work on, but I'm like itching. I'm itching to get back to it. Um, so then I grabbed, um, these aren't in any really particular order. I, I randomly grabbed this one because it's Little House Needleworks, the bookshelf. And it, to me, in my head, it's a small project. So I think I thought, oh, I might be able to knock that out in a few days. But then I remembered once I really start stitching on this, it's, it's more than it looks. It is a, like a petite project, but it just takes forever. So I did not knock this out at all. <laughs> but I, I do love stitching on it, so I would like to get back to it. I'm stitching this one over two on 36 count. I believe this fabric is called, I've got it written down actually. It's um, Winter Moon. And I really love it on this fabric. And I'm almost, so this is the halfway point. I'm, I just need to do a little bit here and finish this vine and then I'm halfway done. And I do feel like the top will stitch faster because the top is mostly words. So I'm, you know, here's the halfway and then the top's a lot of words. So I think once I can, I, I can get, maybe move a little faster then. But I really do love this piece. I did barely fit it. As you can see, I don't have much room here. <laughs> I barely fit it on this fabric. But it's okay. I don't need that much for framing. Um, so then I pulled out, and like I, like I said at the beginning, um, a lot of these were to fit challenges on the School of Magical Stitches and Literature. And so that's why I picked some kind of random whips to, to haul back out. I grabbed Snooty Parrots. This is also a Sal. I had not worked on this since October, or since, no, since like August. I hadn't worked on it since like August. Um, I only worked on it one night. I did not get very much done. This is all I did was add the greenery. That's, that's it. That was one night of stitching. Um, but let me show you. So what I had done already. This is 40 count Stars Hollow Blend from r and Linen. And I really need to get back to this. I love this project. And this is my rechart, my Gilmore Girls quote. Rechart. And then I recharted Luke and Lorelai for Adam. This is supposed to be Adam and Eve. And I made it Luke and Lorelai. And he's handing her a cup of cup of coffee. <sighs> okay. I need to get back to that. But it was nice to visit it temporarily, just for a little bit. So then I worked. Oh, I had a goal this month to work on a chatelaine, and the month was getting near an end and I still hadn't worked on my Chatelaine. So I was getting, I was like, yeah, I still got next week. It's fine. But then one of the challenges was to stitch with metallics. And I was like, okay, let me just, let me get my Chatelaine out. This will be perfect. So I did complete my goal of working on a Chatelaine this month. Um, but I only worked on it one day. I'd like to do better. So this is the one I'm working on blue Moroccan lace. It's gorgeous. This fabric is huge. I think I, I'm not in love with my fabric choice. This is one of those, it's, it's, I think it's like a Zweigert or something. I don't know. It's called Optic White. I got it from my l &S. It's like super duper stiff. It's like that Witchelt, um, you know, raw linen. That's like just so, it's so stiff. I, I regret, I regret that. I didn't know any better. I was still a really new stitcher. This was only like the fifth or sixth project I think I bought. 
Um, but there's where I'm at. I've got most of the middle done. Like the rest of this is, I've got all of this done. The rest is beads. So I've got the stitching done. But it's dense, it's full, I mean, this is full coverage. So I'm in for a, I'm in for a time there. <laughs> you know, some Chatelaines aren't full coverage. Like they're, 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 they're intense, but like there's some, it's broken up a little bit um, into like little, you know, a tree here and a, a house here or whatever. And this one's just full coverage. And huge, but it's going to be gorgeous. That was my first shadowing. So then I really wanted to work on my Hade because Jenny, um, she's the unstoppable stitcher on Instagram and on Floss Tube, she's half of the dynamic duo of K and J stitches. And she is working on a Jasmine Beckett Griffith Hade and she's almost done. She brought it to the stitch in on Sunday and I think she has like 3000 stitches left. Um, she's almost done with it. It's so pretty. And I was like, oh, I want to, I want to work on mine. I want to work on mine. So I'm doing the mini Milagros La Luna. I picked like the smallest one I could find. And um, so I got this out and I put like 250 stitches in maybe. I'm doing this one over one on 28 count. So it is teensy tiny. But that's like four or 500 stitches, if not more. But look how tiny it is. Like there's my finger for scale. It's so tiny. But the fun thing is like there's some color. Um, you know, I got to jump right into the color instead of just stitching black for 100 years. <laughs> so... Um, I'm going to try to make a point to, to work on this more because I don't, I don't want to work on it all the time, but like, I do want to see something happen with this and I can't just pull it out every six months and do like two or three blocks. So I need a plan like you, like to put, you know, 200 stitches in a week or something. So just so I can see some progress. Okay. And then my last whip is one I've been working on a lot over the last two to three weeks because it has been snowing so much here in Colorado. So this is my Mirabilia, it's called the Snow Queen and I've made a promise to myself that every time it snows, I will get it out and work on it. And I honestly even worked on it sometimes when it wasn't snowing just because I'm having so much fun with it. So like maybe I'd get it out for a snow day and then the next day I'd keep working on it just because I like it. Um, but it's, I've been motivated to work on it because it's finally starting to look like something. So here's where I'm at. I have a reindeer. So the, the reason I needed to go to my LNS and get some Krynik was there are, these antlers have some like drapey ribbon Krynik and I didn't have, so I needed the colors for that. Um, those antlers took a lot longer than I thought they would. <laughs> Isn't it pretty? The fabric is 32 count Polywog Princess by Hand Dyed by Stephanie. It doesn't ever want to really show up. It's green and purple. It's really pretty. And I'm so excited with how much I've got done. I'm starting on the leg. Like there's a little bit more belly here, but not, not much, just a little belly. And then the leg, which won't be much. And then this is more open. And then we get into like dress, the lady, which will take a while. But I'm hoping it won't take as much because it's not as confetti heavy as the, the reindeer. Isn't it pretty? It's so pretty. I'm so happy with that. And, you know, it usually in Colorado will snow until like April or May. We usually get a, a snow in May. So I can work on this for a while. I'm, I'm not, I'm not going to have to put that away for a while. So I'm really excited. All right. So those are, I think that's everything, right? That's all my whips. Um, I'm just looking over my notes. I think I've told you guys everything. Um, I have been horrible at posting out on Instagram and I know that I've been really bad about that. 
So I am going to photograph all of these and put them on Instagram, I promise. I'm gonna get back to like posting after I, I load my videos. Um, and try to be more I, I'm on Instagram every day like looking at your guys's stuff I'm just not good about posting my own stuff um, I've been really lax but I'm gonna work on that and the last thing I have is a little giveaway because it's my birthday I thought I'd do a little giveaway so this is a full kit by the drawn thread it's called random thoughts it has lots of specialty stitches and I think a little bit of hardinger in there. So just keep that in mind. I don't know if you can see it if I zoom in, but I was looking real close and I think there's a little bit of hardinger. Um, but it comes with the linen and all the floss and there's some charms too. So it comes with like some cute little metal charms and the floss and the linen. So fully kitted, ready to go. Oh yeah, there's definitely some hard anger in there. So if that's not your uh, your cup of tea, don't ask for this pattern. Um, so if you like this pattern, let me know when your birthday is. Because this is a birthday. This is in honor of my birthday. So let me know when your birthday is if you'd like to stitch this pattern. Um... I'll, I'll send it anywhere. Worldwide, whatever. Okay, that's all I have. Thank you for watching. Thank you for for supporting me. I really do appreciate like all of you. Well, I shouldn't say all of you, but many of you um, were like, I'm rooting for your chiefs. And then even like messaged me after and was like, I'm so sorry they lost. And you know, like, I really appreciate that. I, I thank you guys for like thinking of me. I'm okay. I'm okay. There's always next year. You know, we, we might be back in this game many times over the next few years. So, um, I'll be all right. <laughs> um, and now it's baseball season starting up. So, you know, can do look forward to something else. Um, anyway, thanks guys. I'm just rambling now. I'm going to go. Um, thanks for watching.